Welcome back to today's video lesson on Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on how to balance a nuclear reaction. Now, before we go into this aspect proper, we have to understand where this concept comes from. Now, this particular aspect is on the topic called nuclear chemistry, precisely called radioactivity. So the question will now be, what is radioactivity? It must be noted that radioactivity is the emission of radiation from the nucleus of an atom. So when this radiation is being emitted, occurs spontaneously. I call it natural radioactivity. But when this radiation being emitted occurs due to bombardment of the nucleus, that radioactivity is called artificial radioactivity, also called transmutation. Now, before we move into this aspect proper, which is balancing a reaction, we must be familiar with all of these radiations I am talking about. So, we must talk about radiation first before we can proceed to balancing a nuclear reaction because we must be familiar with the radiations and their symbols. So, it must be noted that radiations are of two types majorly. So, radiations are of two types majorly. The first of the radiations are called the major radiations, okay? The major radiations. And the other radiation is called the minor radiation. The minor radiation. So, for the major radiations and for the minor radiations, the major radiations have three, okay? We have three types of of major radiation and the first of them is called the alpha radiation is called the alpha radiation and if i don't want to call it the alpha radiation i can simply call it the alpha rays the alpha rays now alpha radiation or alpha ray is given with a symbol because all of these radiations to mention now all have their specific symbols because that must be noted first before we can proceed to balance a nuclear reaction. Now, looking at this radiation, it has a symbol and its symbol is simply helium atom. Helium is H-E. So, helium with mass number of four and atomic number of two. So, you can see alpha radiation is the first radiation under the major radiations. So the next of the radiation here is the beta radiation. The beta radiation. And if I don't want to call it the beta radiation, I can simply call it the beta ray. Now, it must be noted for the beta radiation, its symbol is E. So it means that the beta radiation, also called the beta ray, is simply electron. And electrons has what? A negative charge. So the symbol here is zero and minus one. So all of the symbols must be noted and memorized because when we start balancing a nuclear reaction, you see how it works. So for the last major radiation called the gamma radiation, the gamma radiation, or you simply call it the gamma ray, okay? For the gamma radiation, it's called the gamma ray. Its symbol is this, okay? So this is the gamma radiation or called the gamma ray. So all of these are the symbols or the identity of these major radiations. So let's quickly move over to the minor radiations, the minor radiations. And the first of them is called positron. Now, positron is simply an electron with a positive charge. So positron is also called positive electron. Positron is also called positive electron. So what becomes the symbol? It is electron, but now it has a positive charge, which is plus one, and here is zero. Now, this is the first minor radiation. So the order of the minor radiation, we call it neutron. So neutron is a minor radiation. 
and neutron is given with a symbol which is N10. So moving over to the last minor radiation called proton. So what becomes a symbol of proton? It is P11. So all of these are the radiations, either major radiations and the minor radiations with their respective symbols because the symbols must be noted so when we start balancing a nuclear reaction it's very easy now you can see the first question written on the board it is very easy now you can see these types of reaction are called nuclear reactions nuclear reactions are different from chemical reactions now let's quickly go ahead to solve this question it says in the nuclear reaction above, which radiation was emitted? So they are asking us to determine which radiation should be in this position of this question mark. So to balance a nuclear reaction, there are some steps to follow. Now, the first of them is this. The superscript. Superscript means the value up here is the superscript, whereby the value down here is the subscript. Same applies to this other part. The superscript for nitrogen atom here is 14 and the subscript is 7. So this place called superscript can also be called mass number. So here is the mass number, whereby here is the atomic number, the superscript subscript. Now, moving further, the superscript of the element in the left hand side of the reaction should equal the superscript of the elements in the right hand side of the reaction. So what am I trying to say? I'm saying that the values up here in the left hand side of the reaction should equal the value up here in the right hand side of the reaction. Now you can see here is one of the isotope of carbon, carbon 14. And here now, the value up here is 14. And nitrogen here is 14. So which value are we to write here? It is simply zero because 0 plus 14, that is 14. And here is already 14. Now, moving over to the subscript, which is 6. Now, here is 6 and here is 7. So, which number are we to write here to balance this reaction? It is simply minus 1 because minus 1 plus 7, that is 6. So, looking at these numbers we've written, which is 0 and minus 1, it has its configuration to be one of the radiations written already. And it is under the major radiation. And which of them specifically the beta radiation? You can see here is zero and here is minus one. So it means that the radiation that was emitted is the beta radiation, E zero and minus one, because that was the symbol we wrote down initially. So all of these symbols must be noted for these respective radiations, be it major radiation, or minor radiation. Now, looking at this particular question, the answer goes to option B, because option B bears the better radiation. So you can see how questions like this have been tackled without stress. So let's quickly move over to the next question. Now, this is the second question, and the question says, identify the atom that is supposed to be here, which is the question mark. It is very easy. Now, recall, I said that the values in the superscript up here at the left hand side of the reaction should equal the values here, okay, for the right hand side of the reaction, which is same as superscript, whereby the values in the subscript in the left hand side should equal the value in the subscript of the right hand side. So how do we solve this question? Very easy. Here, I'm seeing one, I'm seeing 14. But before we actually solve, let's try to identify this particular element. This is nitrogen, nitrogen 14, and this is hydrogen, and this is carbon 14. Now, you can see here is hydrogen. Hydrogen as an element can exist in various isotopic form. So the first isotope of hydrogen is called protium. And protium has a symbol which is H11. The other isotope is called deuterium and it is H21. And lastly, tritium and it is H31. So in this particular question, the isotope they used is proteo, H11. Now, moving further, let's solve. 14 plus 1, that is 15. So 1 plus 14, that is 15. So what value should be here 
to actually balance it. Why? Because 14 plus 1 again is still 15. Now, looking down, here is 7 and here is 7. We got 1 plus 6, that is 7. So what value should be written here? 0. Because 7 plus 0, that is 7. So here is 7 and here is 7. Here is 15 and here is 15 balanced. So which um, radiation has this configuration? It is one of the minor radiation and it is neutron. You can see here is neutron is 1 and 0. So here becomes neutron. So neutron was the missing atom. So neutron now is now here in its position. So you can see now the reaction is balanced. That is how to solve questions under this aspect. So let's quickly move over to the next question. Now this is the third question. Now let's quickly solve. They said we should identify the missing atom here or the missing radiation. Now looking at this first of all, this is called thorium. Thorium 2, 30. Thorium as an element exists in various isotopic form. So this is thorium 230 and this element is radium 226. Now, for we to be able to balance this, we have to check which is higher. This is higher and here is 226. So it means that there's something that's supposed to be written here so as to balance 230. So the value should be, that should be here is 4 because 226 plus 4, that is 230. Okay, so it is balanced. And here is 90 and here is 88. So what are we to write here? 2. Because 88 plus 2, that is 90. So it is balanced. So which of the radiation written earlier has this configuration? It is that of the alpha radiation, which is helium-42. So what should be here is basically the helium atom. So you can see how questions like this have been tackled. They are all very easy. So the next question here, you'll be solving it and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now, this is the question you'll be solving and you provide the answer in the comment section below. The question says, identify the unknown radiation or the unknown atom. So these are the radiations, you must take note of them and memorize so as to be able to get the answer correctly. This is uranium, whereby this is thorium. This is uranium-235 and this is thorium-231. So do well to solve and provide the answer in the comment section below. Let's quickly move over to the next question. Now, this question says, identify the unknown atom. This is aluminum. This is alpha radiation or helium atom, whereby this is a neutron. And this is the unknown atom we have to identify. So we have to check our superscript and our subscript in both sides. So for the superscript first, 27 plus 4, that is 31. And here is already 1. So what are we to add here? 30. So 30 plus 1, 31. Balance. So here is 13 and here is 2. So 13 plus 2, that is 15. So what is supposed to be here? 15 because here is already 0. So 0 plus 15, 15. Now looking at this, looking at this atom, it is very, very, very familiar with a particular element in the first 20 elements of the periodic table. And what is that element? It is phosphorus. Now, the reason why I said phosphorus, because the atomic number is 15. Counting from the first to the 20th element of the periodic table, the 15th element is phosphorus. So this atom should be phosphorus, okay? So P3015. So this is the unknown atom. So this is how questions are being tackled. So let's quickly move over to the next question. Now, let's quickly move over to the last question for this video. It says, uranium-238-92 reacting with carbon-12-6 to give us a neutron radiation, okay, which is N10 plus an unknown atom, which we have to determine now. So, looking at this reaction, I, you can see here that this neutron contains six moles. So, we have six moles of neutron. So, how do we evaluate this? It means that 6 with times 1 and also 6 with times 0. So 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 0, that's 0. So altogether, the neutron now up here for the superscript is 6, while for the subscript is 0. So how do we solve? 2, 3, 8 plus 12. 2, 3, 8 plus 12. That's 250. And here, 92 plus 6. That is um, 98. Now, here is already 6. So what are we to write here to balance the 250? It is 244. 
Yes, it is 244. Because 244 plus 6, that gives us 250. So it balances. Okay? For here, here is already 98. So what should be here? 98 still. Because 0 plus 98, that is same as 98. So looking at this particular atom, looking at this particular atom, it is familiar. It is called californium. Okay? It is CF. It is called californium. So you can see how questions like this have been tackled. It is very easy. Now, if you find this video helpful, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share these videos to friends. Thank you very much and God bless you.